morning. It is Thursday, which is probably the randomest day I could be starting a vlog, but I just got back from Amsterdam last, well not last night, during the day yesterday. I just slept for 10 hours <laughs> and it's now 6.30. I woke up with the sun around six and I decided to just roll with it, try to beat the jet lag or at least take advantage of the jet lag and get a good workout in before work starts this morning. That's what we're doing, one espresso shot. I have three days here in New York between my trip to Europe and my trip home for Thanksgiving. So this is gonna be this vlog, a few days in my life, trying to get my life together, but also prep for another trip. I don't really have time to fully get my life together, slash probably never will do that. <laughs> Take you guys with me. I have a full work day today. I'm working from home. I'm not going into the office. I wanna get some laundry done, just like get things in order. Because I've been traveling, it's for work. If you missed those vlogs, go watch. I did a travel two year vlog and then like a work week in my life in Europe. Now I'm back today and I have some work that hasn't been prioritized because I've been traveling. So like I haven't been doing like my New York um, policy focus work. Back to that today. We're gonna go check out a cute Christmas bar tonight, which I'm so excited about. And I have Friendsgiving with my friends this weekend because we're all going out of town for Thanksgiving. Well, not all, but a lot of people are going out of town for Thanksgiving after that. I need to make something. I need to like, buy food and stuff for myself in these few days here and figure that out but today first we're starting off with a workout and i'm gonna come back shower and get ready for my work day so cheers to that hope you're all doing well let's go get this workout in i don't even know what i'm gonna do two friends the djs came with a new big booty remix i'm gonna listen to this while i work out volume 20 wow that's a lot This view is so pretty with the sun shining and all the leaves changing and I look like a librarian with wet hair. I think I'm just gonna look like this for my meeting. I have a meeting in 20 minutes. I did my workout, showered. I was like, maybe I'll dry my hair before my meeting, but also I feel like it's still too wet. Maybe I'll wait 10 minutes and then reassess. Before that, doing some editing. I didn't finish this video. This is my travel vlog to Paris in Belgium that I edited most of it on the plane yesterday, but then I was like, okay, I'll finish it that night or last night I was planning on doing it. And then I passed out before 8 p.m. because I was so tired and I just didn't get to it. I didn't have the energy. So I'm trying to squeeze in some editing now before my work day officially begins at nine, but I'm like still checking emails and stuff because I have a lot to catch up on. We're multitasking and then I'll edit more of this at lunch because I don't have that much time right now, but yeah. Work day, I also need to fill out my daily plan for the day because this is like my one work day between two trips because I'm still not working tomorrow. It's Friday. I want to get as much done and be as efficient as possible. So today's date is 18 November 2021. It is Thursday. 6 a.m. schedule was gym, 7, get ready. I made coffee. I think I might make a piece of toast really quick. I have some bread in the freezer. I don't really have any food in the fridge. My first meeting is 9 to 10, which is so funny because it's like back to virtual meetings with people that I was literally with 48 hours ago or less. Or no, I guess it'd be more than that because of the time change. So that's gonna be there. And then I have a few priorities that I need to work on today. I already got my workout in, so that's good. Today's focus is HLP next i'm doing a concept note for an event as far as my personal stuff i guess i could do my laundry well i could wait and do laundry tomorrow then i need to like make a packing list and figure out what i'm gonna bring to oregon because i don't want to make the same mistake of overstuffing my suitcase like i did to go to europe <laughs> so i'm gonna get to editing for the next 10 minutes maybe dry my hair then have my meeting and we will go from there but it's gonna be a really productive day i'm like energized coming back to my sitting at home work from home desk setup um, and getting things done. Especially after traveling, I think it's so good. I know obviously not everyone can just like travel for to mix up their schedule, but um, taking a step back, even though I was working, but coming back to this routine, I'd like this good to put my, kind of just shake up my routine and like re-energize myself going into my work. So um, yeah, that's what we're up to. And we're gonna have a great Thursday. It's a sunny day. I'll probably take a walk later and get some coffee because Oh, there's birds flying through the park through all the trees. It's so pretty. It's just been a great morning. I mean, this jet lag thing coming from east to west is so optimal. <laughs> Speaking of, I need to book my bus for Sunday. I'll put that on my to-do list. 
um, because I'm not flying into Bend because the flight prices were so crazy to go back home. I'm flying into Portland, which is like a three hour or so drive from Bend. And I didn't want to ask my parents to come get me because it's just far and like, I don't know, it's like through mountains and stuff and it can be icy and whatever. So I'm gonna take a bus, but I need to book the ticket. Bus ticket, Friendsgiving recipe. Is it bad that I don't want to make mashed potatoes? Even though that's like the most Thanksgiving food. I want to do like smashed rosemary potatoes. I have a million things going on in my brain right now, if you couldn't tell, so. We're gonna try and balance someone at the time and get through this day. It is about one o'clock now, um, which is typically when I take my lunch break, give or take. And I've just been working on this. I feel like I am in a productive mood, but this is just, the task is taking longer than I expected, which is fine. Um, so I just wanna get it done this afternoon though. But I think I'm gonna go take a little break and take a walk to Starbucks. I was going to order the, everyone's talking about the sugar cookie latte. It's like a new holiday drink on Starbucks, but I was like, okay, yes, this is the perfect opportunity. I'll just go, you know, holiday drink, fun, pick it up and take a break. And then I looked and they were out of it, but now my brain is already invested in getting Starbucks. So I'm just gonna get a basic drink with like a couple pumps of brown sugar in my cold brew. But anyway, yes, I'm ordering this now, pressing checkout so that I will have the motivation to get my butt up and just step away from this computer for a bit. I have a meeting this morning. It was great. I've got some things done. Yeah, this is just the one that's the most pertinent that I need to get done. So hopefully my coffee will sustain me through it. I'm doing a mobile order. I also got my ticket to Bend on Sunday. So I'm all set there. This is probably one of the last times I'm gonna get iced coffee. That's a lie. But this is the warmest it's gonna be. I guarantee it's not gonna be this warm for another day. The high is 68 degrees. From here, it's only gonna get colder. I'm getting my iced coffee, damn it. Guys, I just realized today, I don't know when this came out. I think it must've been the last couple days. Taylor Swift released the Sad Girl Autumn version of All Too Well, which is like an even more ballad sounding version. And I just didn't know it could get any better. Anyway, it's the end of the work day. It's actually almost seven. And I just finished up my video. So I finally got that done and it is uploading right now. I need to finish the thumbnail before I head out, but I'm going to, I'm at least meeting one friend, maybe more at the Rolf's Christmas bar. It's not actually called a Christmas bar. It's a German bar and they do these crazy Christmas decorations during the holiday season. They just like deck the place out in ornaments and lights head to toe. And the pictures I've seen are absolutely insane next level and i'm very excited so we're finally gonna go i've been wanting to go since i first moved here in 2019 and i tried to go back then but the line was so long and it was freezing outside so we didn't do it at the time and then i wasn't here last year so i'm hoping because it's still november and it's not quite like not everyone's in christmas mode that it won't be as busy and it's just a Thursday, so it's not the weekend. So that is what we are doing. I still don't know what I'm wearing and I need to leave relatively soon. My brain is in a million places because I still need to wrap up some like work stuff over time. And then I was like trying to do this video and get ready at the same time. So I'm just pulling myself together. Um, but I kind of figured these few days will be a lot of that because I'm trying to pack in a lot of stuff and catching up and also getting ready to leave again. So um, this work day was jam packed. Well, I think I'm gonna wake up early and like finish something that I need to send off tomorrow. Um, but that's the tomorrow problem. So now I'm listening to Sad Girl Autumn <laughs> version of Taylor Swift to get pumped to go to this bar. Um, I don't plan to get very many drinks or anything, but I'm just going for the experience and I am very excited about it. They have mold wine is what my friend reported and that's very festive. And I was worried that I would be exhausted at this time at seven o'clock because I was yesterday, but I have not been hit by the jet lag yet. So that's good. Of course I'm leaving at the last possible second. So I already put on my mask and then I was like, oh yeah, I was gonna film. Um, my outfit's not that exciting, but I'm just wearing a white bodysuit with my new favorite Abercrombie jeans. These are the Curve Love Kick Flare ones that I've been wearing a lot. And this coat though is like the main event. It's like this fuzzy one that I rented from Newly, the one that I didn't end up bringing to Europe. It's actually quite warm and maybe it's too warm for tonight, but oh well, cause I'm not wearing like thick layers under it. Super cute. The fit and let's go to the Christmas ball. Good morning. 
morning. Today we're working from bed. It's like nine. Oh God, the time keeps creeping on and I'm still not done with what I needed to do. It's 9.24. Technically don't work Fridays because you guys know I work four days a week. I need to send something to someone by the end of the week that I did not finish last night. I'm working on it right now, which is fine. It's my own time management thing. So I'm not like feeling bad about working on a Friday, but I'm trying to get it done before 10 because I have a therapy appointment at 10 that I don't want to have to cancel because it's been a couple weeks since I was traveling and everything and I like need to get better about prioritizing therapy. And it's been mostly like every other week just because of that's been my life and schedule recently with being all over the place and traveling. So anyway, that's what's motivating me to get this thing done. But last night I just wanted to say that the bar was so cool. It was so beautiful. The, it was called Rolf's German Bar. Here's the kicker. Cause I got a lot of DMs responses to my story about it asking like, oh, I've seen that place. Like, do you think it's worth it? Should I go? Is it like a really long wait? Whatever. So basically we went on November 18th, uh, Thursday at 8 p.m. ish and there wasn't a line. There was a little bit of a line when I got there but I was waiting for my friend outside. So by the time she got there, the line had already gone in. So we didn't have to wait to go in, which was amazing because usually I feel like that place has a huge line, especially in December. It was really cute, like so decked out. I got a clip of it for you guys. It was beautiful in person, but I do think it shows up better on photographs and also it makes it look bigger than it is. Like it was very cramped and there wasn't much space, but that's to be expected because it's really popular. They had a really fun assortment of like holiday drink menus or holiday drinks on their menu. We were looking, we're like, okay, let's get mulled wine because it's like a nice warm holiday festive drink. We order it, it's just like essentially wine with spices in it. We go to pay and it was like $55 for two mulled wines. So those were literally like $25 drinks or something like that. Outrageous. That's the most I think I've ever paid for one single drink. Just beware if you're gonna go to Rolf's, maybe invest in one drink and then don't be like drinking a bunch there because it's really expensive. So that was my take on it. But otherwise the experience was great. We hung out there for a bit. It was really, really hot in there. So we didn't want to like spend that much time, but it was really cute. Very festive, like the music they played. There was a lot of creepy dolls for some reason hidden in the ornaments and stuff. But anyway, really fun. I'm getting sidetracked because I literally said I need to focus on my work right now because whatever. Anyway, I just want to give that little update in the vlog. So today's Friday. I have back-to-back -back things this morning. I need to finish this work thing, send it off. Then I have therapy. Then I'm recording the podcast with Sierra, but we didn't even like fully prepare for it just because I literally haven't had much time, which I feel bad about because I want to devote as much time as I can to the podcast. But you guys know these few days, I said it from the beginning, like I'm just kind of trying to fit a lot in. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, but hopefully once we get through today, it'll be okay. Because once we get through the podcast stuff, catch up, caught up on work, um, I need to get ahead on posting some footage for my editor and whatever. Then after we record and everything in the afternoon, it should calm down a little bit and then I can kind of like relax, catch up on my own personal stuff, pack, then I'm getting ready for to go out tonight. So anyway, after that, we just kind of hung out. It started raining, which was unexpected. We went to a couple other like small bars nearby. If you do try to go to Rolf's, it's on 3rd Avenue, I think in like 23rd or something like that. But, and the line is super long when you go. Cause also you don't need a reservation to just go to the bar. You just have to wait in line. But if you do make a reservation, I think it's like a minimum $50 dinner or something like that. So just beware. But there's a place across the street called Molly's and it's like this little Irish bar and they deck it out full of Christmas lights too. It's not nearly as like elaborate as Rolf's, but if you want to see some cute Christmas lights, you can go there instead. Anyway, okay. I'm going to finish this work thing. I'm working from bed. <laughs> So I'm um, comfortable and play some aggressive classical music to motivate me to get this done in the next 30 minutes. I also ordered a gluten-free bagel sandwich and coffee on Uber Eats because I don't have groceries and I'm starving. Cause last night my dinner consisted of sharing fries with my friend at the bar, mulled wine that was $25. So again, a bit of a mess, but happy to be here. Okay, I also need to self tan today because I feel very pale. Okay, goodbye. I've been like talking on the phone with Sierra pretty much all day um, because we recorded the podcast earlier. You guys, I think we had one of the best podcast episodes yet and we didn't even have a plan for it. We were like, oh, maybe we should do this where we collect these stories and then we didn't get to prepare enough in time. And then this morning we were talking and she's like, what if you just did like a catch up of your trip? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I feel like that's not that interesting for an entire episode. But then we just found our groove and we kind of like talked about gratitude and tools that we've learned about like implementing 
a gratitude mindset. It was just such a good episode and I think that so many people will find it useful. Sierra shared like really interesting tools and stories from like a masterclass that she did, things that I hadn't heard of and like studies and things that were just fascinating. So we had a great discussion. Anyway, so then I was talking to her, we were talking for a couple hours for that and then we were talking like during her entire drive um, to go to Orange County to meet someone for lunch. So now it is literally almost 4 p.m. I'm still in my pajamas. I finished my work thing this morning. I did have to push back my therapy appointment, which is a bummer, but I just needed to prioritize work. Now I have the podcast being edited. I need to do some like other admin things and then I'm going to dinner at 7.30 on the Upper East Side, so I need to leave at like 6.45. I have a couple hours, so we're just chilling. I'm gonna get a lot more stuff done. I really wanna just like wipe out my to-do list. I actually should probably do laundry right now because when I'm, when I'm just gonna self-tan. When is that gonna happen? Honestly, I don't need to self-tan. I'm gonna be wearing clothes like pretty much head to toe because it's cold out anyway. Tonight we're going to, I should actually look up the place my friend sent. We're going to a, a jazz bar, West 46th Street. Swing dancing club with live music. I feel much better now about my like things that are on my list and things that I need to get through because again, just a lot going on. Oh, I was gonna make a TikTok about my outfits from Europe. Maybe I could do that this afternoon while I'm doing laundry. Okay, anyway, feeling accomplished, but like still somewhat unsettled. Like I feel like I've checked things off my list, but I still feel like something is hanging over my head and I'm not sure what it is. Glad we got to catch up with Sierra because I haven't like talked to her on the phone or anything since I've been in Europe because I don't really have the ability to phone call people. I just need to relax, I think. Everyone watching this with me right now, take a deep breath, we're gonna breathe in. And in, and out. I'm going to respond to an email to my building, uh, trying to negotiate my rent because that's also a thing that I need to do and figure out because I have to let them know if I'm moving out or not in 10 days. Yeah. There's so much going on in this super right now. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Bieber plays softly in the background. It's probably different than I'm that. Trying. Okay, wait, I found it. Good morning, world. It's a beautiful day outside once again. The sun is shining. So am I. I just woke up. Actually, I woke up at like seven. It's eight now. And my coffee shop, well, not my coffee shop, but a coffee shop I want to go to around the corner is just now opening. So I'm going to go and get a coffee. And they have some gluten-free pastries is why I call it my coffee shop. And grab one of those. Have a nice little Saturday morning chilling at home. I just love the morning daylight out this window, it's such a beautiful view. I'm really soaking it up, you guys, because I know that I might be leaving <laughs> in the next couple months, but anyway, that's a story for another day. Go get my morning coffee. We went to the jazz bar last night. It was called Swing 46, and it was so much fun. Like, we were out on the dance floor with all of these random people there, and everyone was just smiling and having a good time, and it was great. So I'm so glad we went, and then we all, I was like hitting a wall. I think my jet lag was catching up with me. And at one point I was like kind of falling asleep at the bar and that should have been my first sign to go home. But then we went to another place. I was just not having it. I was so tired. So I came home, passed out and I woke up at 7 a.m. this morning. So I got like five hours of sleep and my body was like enough. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get coffee. And then today is packing, cooking for Friendsgiving. Well, packing, shopping, cooking. So I wanna get my suitcase fully packed because I leave very early tomorrow. I already checked in for my flight because it's at 8 a.m. from JFK. We are mentally preparing for that and I just think I'm not really gonna drink at Friendsgiving tonight because I need to be up so early. It's okay, it is what it is and it will be still a blast. So I'm gonna pack, I'm gonna shop for Friendsgiving and I'm going to cook my, I think I'm gonna do mashed potatoes. I might hang out with my friend before and we might like cook together, but I don't know. We will just see where the day takes us. Have a great last day in New York before leaving for a week. Secured the bag, yum. I went to Coffee Project and got a Cortado, which when I got it, I was like, hmm. I didn't think this through because I want a bigger drink that I can sip on for a long time and it's small, but it's okay. And a gluten-free vegan pumpkin spice muffin. Look at it in this HD, wow. Wow. I'm going to sip on this, have my muffin, and plan out what I'm gonna bring with me 
to Portland. There's a lot of stuff that I have there still, of like loungewear, especially during quarantine that I acquired that I didn't bring back here. I just left there for me to use when I go back. And that's probably what I'm gonna mostly wear, just hanging out at home. So I'll pack like maybe a few outfits, wear one coat on the plane and allow myself to bring one other coat because I have a coat problem, which was my downfall in Europe. So we are not repeating that mistake. Anyway, I would order a Newly box to be shipped there, but I already used my November Newly allowance um, because of my trip, so I have to wait till December. But alas, why am I breaking it like this? Like, this is so aggressive. Would you just look at it? The sugar on top. That's a damn good gluten-free vegan muffin. The consistency, impeccable. Very happy with these decisions. <laughs> I've just been jamming out to Red Taylor's version, of course, and I've actually pretty much finished packing before noon, which is a miracle. It's 11.56, and this is great. I definitely think I won't be overweight, <laughs> and there's still a little bit of space, but I do want to put my toiletry bags there, and then it should close fine, even though it's slightly broken. I'm feeling really accomplished. This doesn't really happen. I think it's just because I did come back from a trip like a few days ago, and I already had things like semi put together, so it was just a matter of like picking a few pieces, throwing them in there. I've got my brown coat. I'm gonna wear the black puffer on the plane. I have some leggings and pants in here, tops in there, and a sweater that's wrapped around my microphone to record the podcast. Pajamas, underwear, socks, a couple shoes, a couple sweaters, and a jacket. And then I'll put, add my toiletries, and that's pretty much it. Very um, streamlined, if I do say so myself. I also wanna do a little bit of shopping when I'm there because no sales tax and I'll have time. Great, now I'm gonna go. I actually wanted to self tan while I was packing, but I was like, oh, I still need to go to the grocery store, so maybe I'll do that first but then I got caught up in packing so now I'm gonna do grocery run to get supplies and get some lunch while I'm there because I don't have food here still and then come back eat self tan I need to look up an actual recipe Sierra told me a recipe on the phone yesterday so I know like the ingredients that I need but I'm gonna look up a recipe to see how much time it will take me but yeah I feel like I must be forgetting something because that was almost too easy but I'm gonna roll with it okay we have located the best damn vegan mashed potatoes, which seems promising. So this is by Minimalist Baker. They look delicious. Okay, I'm gonna get some Yukon Gold potatoes, which is what Sierra said. Let's see what kind of milk that she uses. Oh, just butter. Interesting. I'll probably get some oat milk just in case. I feel like oat would be fine there because it's pretty neutral tasting. Okay, my whole foods. Picked up a few snacks for the plane tomorrow and things for the vegan food tonight. I'm just gonna get hot food. I haven't gotten hot food in literally ages, but like chicken pie, and curry cauliflower. I wish they had rice or something, but I'm looking for some sort of car because I'm starving. What time would be good? Did anyone see that TikTok that was like me sitting in my car listening to my friend's voice memos? <laughs> like it's a podcast. I'm gonna send her a voice memo back. Hello, yes, we're very much on the same wavelength. You know the problem with hot bar kind of situations at Whole Foods or wherever? is that your eyes are always bigger than your stomach, like buffet situations. And then you put too much food in your plate and then you pay by weight and you just don't eat it all. I'm leaving in the morning, but maybe I'll save it in case I get hungry later in the afternoon or something. I don't know. I'm gonna self tan. I've been saying that all day, but now it's finally happening. I get to doing some editing. Success. Okay, the potatoes are being mashed. I pretty much got the consistency down, I think. There's still a few like bits that need to be broken up. But I don't have a masher, so I just use this thing and it's working well enough. When I took the potatoes out, I boiled them for like 30 minutes, drained it, and then melted like five cloves of frozen garlic on the pan and then put the potatoes back in, mashed it all, mixed it all together, added this much butter. So a lot of butter. Now I'm gonna do seasoning. So I have this black truffle garlic seasoning, which I think would be really yummy. So like a truffle kind of twist on the mashed potatoes. I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing. I know that this might drive some people crazy, but this is how I do things, so. And I'm gonna add salt and pepper and a little more like garlic powder. Just kind of taste it, see how it goes, add more, figure it out along the way. <laughs> and that is our strategy. I have two hours until I need to leave. It's 4.30 and it starts at seven. I need two hands as well. <laughs> Look how good these look. They are really good. I just had a spoonful of them. I'm impressed. I'm very proud of myself. Are you eating now? Yes, I'm eating mashed potatoes. I am ready for Friendsgiving. I'm actually wearing an outfit that I wore in Europe, essentially. I went with a turtleneck, gold necklace, my newly coat that I'm renting right now, and then I'm wearing leggings because I wanted to wear stretchy pants, and just tennis shoes for comfort, and I'm gonna take them off. So, ready to go. My potatoes are on deck, ready for eating. I put my makeup on, 
and this is the first time actually that's a lie i went to whole foods earlier but i feel like i haven't gone anywhere today otherwise so anyway here's a full look at the fit air force ones again the bottom half isn't really much of an outfit but we want it neutral on neutral let's go catch the train i'm so excited to see everyone i haven't seen a lot of my friends that are gonna be there in a while just because I've been like traveling and been gone weekends before I was traveling and stuff. It'll be really fun and I'm excited for some quality friend time and good food. Okay friends, it is the end of the night. It is just about almost midnight. 11:40, which is honestly much better than I thought it was going to end up being of me getting home late. I'm like completely sober now. I only had a couple drinks uh, Friendsgiving because again have to be up at 530 to catch a flight. So very proud of myself. I just um, Like cleaned out everything in the kitchen Started running the dishwasher and I'm just about to take off my makeup wash my face and go to sleep So I'll get a solid five and a half hours of sleep and then hopefully I'll sleep some on the plane. Friendsgiving was so much fun It was like just how I expected in the sense of being so refreshing just to spend time with everyone again and like get everyone back in one place Especially because I haven't seen a lot of them in a couple weeks. We just like had such good food There was a lot of people there was like 15 of us I think basically my friend who was hosting it. They're like between apartments right now So their old apartment it was like the last time they were hanging out there They had like had the whole space clear because they didn't have any furniture left in the living room So they just rented tables and chairs. So it was one giant table in the middle of the room <laughs> that we all sat around and then we cleared a couple of them out afterwards and did karaoke we were just singing and it was just so pure i had a moment where i was like this is something i'll always look back on fondly and i'm just so grateful for all of them so it was great much needed we are ready to start my journey to go home for the week of thanksgiving i'm gonna wrap up this vlog here this is just kind of like the few days between one trip to another trying to get shit together i'm in a good place now feeling refreshed and so so excited to hug my family tomorrow i haven't seen them since last christmas it's just gonna be great so thank you so much for watching this vlog i love you guys so much very very grateful for you all supporting me and sticking with me and all that just means a lot so love you subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you in my next vlog back in oregon with the fam Night.